Hello, this is Ben from the DIY Brothers, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install extra D-rings in the bed of your pickup truck. I'm going to be doing this on a first-generation Toyota Tacoma. You can do it on just about any truck that has your standard sheet metal bed sides. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because my I've got this toolbox here, and the factory hooks where you tie ropes or straps are covered up by this. So whenever I'm hauling things, I've had some difficulties finding places to tie down to. And I think I'm going to use these for some permanent mounting points for straps that are going to hold in some extra gas cans and things that I have. But in general, I just want to have more options whenever I'm tying something down into the bed of my truck. All you need for today's project are some D-rings, whatever hooks you choose to buy. I got these at my local hardware store. Some self-tapping screws. These are three quarter inch 10 millimeter self-tapping screws. A pencil to mark where you're going to put them. And either a cordless or 120 drill to drill into the sheet metal on the side of your truck. All right, so I just got done marking where I'm going to put my D-rings. Um, there's a couple bumps in the sheet metal on the Toyota right here. And as soon as this steps down, I went eight inches out, which puts it right here. I already marked it with my pencil. I think this is a good location because it's about in the middle of what my new shorter bed is now that I have my toolbox. And it leaves just enough room for the gas can that I want to put here to be mounted between the stock mounting location and my new one. Over here, it steps, the sheet metal steps down here again. I went six inches from that one, which puts it about here, which fits really well with my weather guard toolbox and gives me what I think be the perfect spacing for my new attachment points. And I kept them all about the same height as my stock one. I've marked it on both sides, and so now it's time for me to drill for me to drill those self-tapping screws in. There you go. First one's in there. Pretty sturdy. I was kind of concerned, honestly, about the thin sheet metal and the self-tapping screws, but this feels really good. I mean, I'm sure if you yanked on this really hard, you could rip it out. But as far as for ratchet strapping or tie-downs, this is going to be awesome. There we go. Now we just need to do the other side and we'll be all done. And our last one. I'm all done with my D-ring project. You can see both the rings there now. It's going to let me tie down wherever I want in my truck, including my new supply can. I have one on each side. And I've mounted the two cans I was talking about. You can see here, put that new D-ring in, and I cut the tie-down strap to size so that it goes right around the gas can. It's perfect mounting, and it puts the weight over the back wheels, which helps with some traction on the Toyota truck here. Did the same thing on the other side for my water can. So I now have these matching supply cans ratcheted down to my new D-ring. Alright, I'm all done with my D-ring mod. It cost me all of about $10 and I can now attach things wherever I want in the bed of my pickup and I have these two new supply cans. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, please subscribe to the DOI Brothers channel for more great adventures. Thank you very much.